Hello students, in this video we will be learning about the structure and types of chromosome. We know that inside the nucleus of the cell there is a thread-like structure called chromatin. This chromatin condenses to form chromosome towards the end of interphase just before cell division. Now let's see what is chromatin or chromosome is made of. 40% of chromatin is DNA and the remaining 60% is made of a protein called histone. With 8 histone as the core, a DNA molecule winds around it forming a complex unit called nucleosome. Millions of these units coil and supercoil in order to form a chromosome. Before DNA duplication, it consists of one chromatid which has a primary constriction called the centromere. The centromere divides the chromatid into two arms. The upper arm is called P arm and the lower arm is called Q arm. Sometimes they have a region of secondary constriction called satellite. After DNA duplication, the duplicated chromatids are joined together at the centromere and are called cystochromatids. Please note that the number of chromosomes is counted on the basis of centromere and not on the basis of chromatid. So, the chromosome number will remain the same before and after the DNA duplication. Now, let's understand what is meant by haploid and diploid. Haploid consists of only one chromatid and is present before DNA duplication. Diploid consists of two chromatids and are present after the DNA duplication. Based on position of the centromere, there are four types of chromosome. Telocentric is the one in which centromere is at one end. The P arm is not visible or sometimes barely visible. This is present in organisms such as mice. Humans don't have this type of chromosome. The second one is acrocentric. The centromere is near one of the ends. Here, P arm is visible, but its length is shorter than that of the Q arm. In humans, chromosome numbers 13, 14, 15, 21, and 22 are acrocentric. The third type is metacentric. Here, the centromere is at the center. So, the P arm and Q arm have equal length. In humans, the chromosome 1, 3, 16, 19, and 20 are metacentric. And the fourth type is submetacentric. Here, the centromere is slightly away from the center, so one of the arms will be a little shorter than the other. In humans, the chromosomes, other than those mentioned earlier, are submetacentric. Now let's understand what is meant by homologous and heterologous chromosome. In humans, 23 chromosomes are received from the father and 23 from the mother, which forms 23 pairs. In the first 22 pairs, the chromosomes have similar shape and size and have information of function or features of the same part of the body. These are known as homologous chromosomes. In 23rd pair of a human male, the chromosomes present are X and Y. They are different and therefore they are called heterologous chromosome. So in a human female, all the pairs are homologous and in human male, only the 23rd pair is heterologous. Now let's understand what is meant by autosome and allosome. So we know that the first 22 pairs have information of function and features of parts of the body. These chromosomes are called autosomes. But the 23rd pair helps us to determine the sex of the human. Therefore, they are called allosome or sex chromosome. If the 23rd pair is XX, it is a female. And if the 23rd pair is XY, it is a male. In our next video, we will learn about karyotyping and how to draw a human karyotype. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.